Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's your usual host, Drongo Karras of the Black Bulls at Night Squad. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Can't talk today. Black Bulls Night Squad at Twitch.tv or Raven Sun on TikTok, whichever you prefer. And uh, we're here today with our Leo Mon deck profile. I uh, absolutely love this deck. Uh, it's been really, really fun to play. Uh, I'm going to continue to try and get the deck profiles back on track like I used to have it. Uh, but in the meantime, um, just bear with me with the slow speed. Uh, the beauty of this deck is being able to rush all the way to your heavy or Boncho Leomon and push for the big win and control your opponent's board state. Without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the deck. Uh, first up is our Digitama, our eggs. Four copies of the new Freemon. Freemon is actually the correct baby for Leomon for a change. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, out of EX5, uh, when attacking once per turn, if this Digimon has Leomon and its name, you draw one card. Just fixes your hand up, really helps. It's actually an egg that's intended for the deck for a change and really helps. Let's go for our Megas, level sixes. We have four copies of Heavy Leomon. I gotta hunt down the other three copies of alternate artwork. Um, cost is five to Digivolve, 13,000 power, or you can Digivolve onto a level five with Leomon and its name for the cost of four. In other words, he does the typical strategy, altering his cost to go up the appropriate line. Fortitude. This is the new mechanic that everybody is absolutely either hating or loving. Hating if you're against it, loving if you're playing it. Um, Fortitude says that if he has any material under him when he dies, he immediately comes back without material into play for free. So in other words, um, he's really hard to get rid of and keep off the field. Uh, basically, in that sense, you have eight copies of Heavy Leomon in your deck is the idea. Because played once, has materials, dies. Plays again, they kill it again. Plays once, dies, comes back. Plays once, you get the idea, two, four, six, eight. So it's a really, really neat uh, mechanic, and um, it was absolutely a lot of fun to play this at the uh, at the event Saturday, and um, <laughs> I did really, really well. I didn't top, but um, I tortured everybody all day with it. It was kind of funny. Uh, our other two Megas is two copies of Boncho Leomon. Now, Boncho does not carry Fortitude at all, but on player when Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. All turns once per turn, when a Digimon becomes suspended, you may have one of your opponent's Digimon get minus 4,000 digital power and minus security attack one until the end of their turn. So during your turn, you Digivolve this guy, you throw him on there, you minus 4K this, this big hitter that's uh, gonna be coming your way next turn, minus one security attack. Basically, you're gonna force them to attack your Digimon and leave your security alone. Up next is our level fives. We have Loader Leomon. Loader Leomon is kind of an MVP if you ask me. The yellow green lineup, of the deck is absolutely outstanding. Um, being able to minus DP on your opponent is just great because it's on play or when did you evolve? So if you get desperate, you can just hard drop this guy for seven and still minus 3k uh, their, their Digimon. I actually abused that with the Fortitude engine because with Fortitude under, Material under, he hit the board, minus 3k, swing into something big, tie, trade off seven for seven, bring back, Target that 6K that, or whatever that's now a 3K and minus it three more, kill it. It's it, it's just a great way to really control the board state and have options um, as long as you've got material under it. Our other one is the black-green lineup, which is Grat Leomon, four copies. And uh, he has Fortitude also on play with something 4K or less. Put it to the bottom of their deck. Now, the really cool thing is with the yellow versus the green is the yellow inherit says blocker. The black green inherit says piercing. Then when you hit anything that's level four or lower, it turns into minus 2k and de-digivolve by one. For example, our four copies of Liamon. Liamon uh, is got the in, uh, main turn trait effect that says if his name is Leomon or his name is treated as Leomon. So it's really, really handy. It's really important to know that. Um, and it says when attacking, uh, they both say this by the way, when attacking, you may digivolve into a Digimon card with Leomon in its name from your hand at a reduced digivolution cost of one. So when you go for these uh, four drops, since you're digivolving into a Leomon, it's a cost of three. And since you're attacking to force the digivolve, it now goes from three down to two. Absolutely insane. On deletion, minus 2k, one of your opponent's Digimon. And then we have Leomon, traditional Leomon. Same thing. Alternate cost, if you throw him on Elecmon, Leomon, just like Lyamon does, goes for two instead of three. When attacking, Digivolve at the reduced cost. Deletion, de-Digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon by one. 
This is two copies proxied for uh, BT-14 Leo Mon. And uh, he's absolutely a great tech in this deck. He gives you the extra oomph that you need. I ran uh, an extra copy of Green Memory and Wyvern's Breath. But yeah, you want those BT-14 Leo Mons? I'm trying to hunt those down. Up next is our rookies. Four copies of Lyle Mon. Lyle Mon is, the rookies were the ones that actually were a little different. So Lyle Mon says, on play, search your security stack for a Leo Mon card. Add that Leo Mon card to your hand, and if you do, recovery one. So he's kind of like a TK a little bit. He lets you get in there, see what's in your security currently, remove something that's too weak to be in there that's not going to help you, and then take a random card off the top of your deck, shuffle it into your security, and put that back down. So he helps you fix your security a little bit. Hopefully recover uh, one of your level threes or your level fours from the security back to your hand to set you up for plays, and then throw in hopefully a level five, a level six, or an option card or a tamer card. And then on deletion... Um, he's, uh, uh, one of your opponents, Digimon gets minus 2k until the end of the turn. So if you have both in the sack, that's minus 4,000. Uh, if you Digivolved into the level five, that's minus two, four, and then 7,000 if it dies in that moment, for example. So there's just lots and lots of stuff that you can do there. Uh, also you'll see they cost one to Digivolve on the new hybrid color engine. They can go green or red or black or green or whatever. The central line being green, which is why the Fremont is green. Um, if you put it on the Fremont, it's zero instead of one. Same thing for this next rookie, Electmons. Electmons can digivolve onto a free one for a cost of zero instead of the one. This one is on play, reveal the top five of your deck, add one card with Leomon among them to your hand, put the rest on the bottom in any order. So, you get to slam it down, you got your rookie, and then on top of having your rookie, you get to search five deep instead of three, and you get to grab one Leomon card. Very, very, very effective. I mean, three memory to search five down into your deck, that's nothing. And then the reduced cost free for Fremont. So, beautiful. I got to hunt down three copies of Palmon from BT14. The one that says Inheritable. When you Digivolve into a uh, Digimon uh, that is green, I think is how it's worded, it reduces the cost by one more. So, if you have her underneath the champion lineup, you swing, alternate cost of three, Reduce down to two, reduce down to one to Digivolve into a level five. That is paying one memory to Digivolve to a level five. Outstanding strategy. Absolutely crazy. I'm only running three of her instead of four like everybody else because we want to focus on Electmon and Lyomon. We just need the extra rookies to ensure hand consistency. Up next is our options. I run four copies of Flashy, of flashy Boss Punch. I told you I can't talk today. All right. Flashy Boss Punch is outstanding. I mean, it costs eight and it needs yellow and green source. That's not a problem at all. That's very easy to pull off. While you have a Digimon with Leomon or Boncho in its name, you may ignore this card's color requirements. Told you, easy to fit. So spend one of your opponent's Digimon and one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 12,000 digital power for the turn. Then one of your Digimon with Leomon or Boncho in its name may immediately attack. So even if it passes the turn, you go eight, put them to four, five, or six, you still get to suspend, minus 12k, attack, now turn resolves. So you suspend the one that you know you can kill for sure. You reduce the one that the 12k will get rid of automatically. And then you swing your big Boncho or your big Leo into the now suspended guy. Or if they only have one out there that's the main threat, suspend it by 12k. Uh, suspend it, minus it, then swing into it. This is a very, very useful card. That's why I run it at four instead of two or three. It's just too important. Three copies of Wyvern's Breath. This card came in clutch alongside these all day Saturday. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Um, I was controlling the field so effectively that it was just absolutely aggravating. One copy of Green Memory Boost. This is just literally so you can get a early game search off of it or even a late game and then pop for memory so that you can set up your play. That's it. And Hidden Potential Discover, of course. It's a green deck, so... The, the, the ability to just suspend one of your rookies and reduce the next Digivolution cost by five, making it free, it's just too powerful to not run. Now our Tamer lineups. This one's pretty easy. We're running four Mimis, four Taigas, and four TKs. The Mimis are going to be so that you can speed up the egg play and try to rush, make a wide board of big dudes. 
the Tigas are so that anything level five or six, you can reduce the cost even more. You can do this, I've looked into it. You can do this during the attack declaration, making your Digivolution into a level five zero. This was how I made this deck absolutely nutty. I'd swing, I reduced to zero, or I'd swing, or I'd Digivolve uh, during turn uh, at a reduced cost, and it was just, it was absolutely crazy how fast I could hit Heavy Leomon or Boncho Leomon, depending on the scenario I was in, and just absolutely decimate my opponent's board. Also, all your Digimon gain 1,000 extra power during your turn while Taiga's out. And then, of course, TK is TK. Memory Setter plus the effect of going into your security stack, finding a yellow card, adding it to your hand, recovery one. If you look at your security stack and all, and there's nothing in there, it's like, let's say you have three bot flashy flashy boss punches and two wyvern's breath you just go hmm never mind and you just shuffle them and set them back down and leave them because that's like literally the perfect security stack i've not seen that yet but i have seen one that was two uh two and two and then a mimi and i was like oh that's just beautiful you know i kind of wish it was a tk that way i could have just grabbed the tk back and possibly threw another security card in there that was better and then play that tk and see if i did recover um it would have been a cool little thing to do but it just didn't happen but that was Actually, twice that day where I flipped it over, and there was two uh, flashy boss punches, two wyvern breath, and I think Mimi, and then another time it was three fl flashies, one wyvern's breath, and a green memory boost. So I was like, you know what? These are beautiful. I'm just leaving them. And I was just like, opt out, shuffle, offered cut, and left them. Beautiful. So this deck is absolutely amazing. Um, I enjoy this deck quite well. I love the decks that are in rotation right now. The Guru Room on deck is funny. It's very hard to answer. Uh, the Guru engine in other decks is funny. Anubismon was fun. I actually 2 0 Anubismon. I don't know if it was just bad hands or what, but I did 2 0 Anubismon loop, and I felt so happy about that because that's that's an incredibly powerful deck, and I played against it online quite a bit, and it was very, very tough. But with this deck, this deck was like, I don't care if you swing your retaliation into me. I'm going to nuke your board state and just be like happy about it. So, like, I loved how this deck had a very purple attitude. I don't care if I die, I'm coming back. And so it was just, it was very free filling and I love where the meta is at right now. So I feel like this is one of the decks that was a sleeper in the set. People didn't think it was going to be anything. Now that it's out, people are going to start playing it left and right. And I feel like, uh, I feel like that's, <laughs> we're about to see some really nutty combos with Leo Mon decks roaming around. And, uh, on the note of the Palmon, cause I know she's kind of up a little bit. I think she's like a common or something and she's like two, three dollars. Um, there is another rookie out there. I can't remember its name, but it has the same stat, same cost. It's the same color, and it has a almost identical effect. It reduces the cost when you did you off. I don't think it's an inheritable. I think it's on the actual card, but still, that kind of that kind of feeds to the purpose, reducing the cost and helping you get to your lineup faster than your opponent, and therefore taking control of the game. Um, if the, if I'm correct in that assumption, go ahead and uh, throw it in there in the comment section and let people know what it is. That way, they could look for a twenty five cent card instead of a three or four dollar card. Help them out. Help everybody out. Uh, you know you know how we are. We're the community. Let's help each other out. Um, we don't want Digimon to be toxic. We want Digimon to be the card game that everybody runs to to get away from toxic games. So thank you so much. If you like that profile, remember to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. That way you'll get more Digimon, One Piece, Magic, all the content that we upload here on the channel, even some predecessor play, and etc. I'm Drongo Karras. You're awesome. And keep it up, my friends. I'll see you on the mat. Digimon, Digimon are the champions. Digimon, Digimon are the champions. Shame.